Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 20. Please go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, hit that notification bell because I don't want you to miss any of the franchise content that is here all day, every day, here on Franchise Gaming. Never back down, we will not relent. Well, welcome to the weekly Washington Redskins radio show. We got two really hype games coming up, taking on the Detroit Lions and the Carolina Panthers. Those are two teams that can provide problems from time to time. So let's see how you guys are feeling about it. Let's go to the phones, and here we go. Well, howdy there, partner. My name is Randy, and I am from Dallas, Texas. I'm a huge Redskins fan. For 22 years, I just wanted to ask, what do you think is going to happen the rest of the season? Do you think the Redskins are going to bottom out and end up with an average record like they've done every year I've been a fan of them? Or do you think they're going to make the playoffs for the first time since 2012? Thank you. Well, Randy, if a lot of our listeners weren't awake, they are now, so thank you for that. However, I do feel like this Redskins team has a really good chance to make the playoffs, and even if they don't make it, I don't think that they're going to do one of those bottom-out type of jobs. I think that they have a decent enough schedule to the point where they should at least come out 8-8, eight and 9-7, eight, and seven, possibly lean more towards them having a winning record than a losing one. So that's not exactly bottoming out in my opinion. But I think, I think you might be a little surprised this time. I think they should make the playoffs for the first time since 2012. Hello. My name is John. And I'm out of breath from yelling at myself for being a Redskins fan all these years. I don't understand why I put up with this all the time. Too many turnovers, so undisciplined, all the face masks and penalties, it's unacceptable. It cost us the game against Buffalo two weeks ago, and I've had enough. We've got to fire the coach after the season. First, are you sure your name is John and not Bruce? As in Bruce Wayne, but anyways, Firing the coach after the season when he's got this good of a record, I mean, he would have to really mess it up at this point. Nobody really expected the Redskins to be where they are right now. And while they're not in the lead of the division, they're definitely up there for the wild card. Nobody expected them to really overtake Philly. Philly has probably the best roster, one of the best rosters in the NFL. But they're doing really well right now, so you got to at least hang on to that. Let's, let's not call for the coach's head just yet. Hello, my name is Simon. I wanted to know what you thought of Dwayne Haskins' game last week. Thank you. Well, it was 19-29 for 247 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. I mean, that's going to happen from time to time. He has been known to throw some interceptions this season, so he's not completely, you know, absolved of all that. But he did throw the two touchdowns that were necessary in order for the Redskins to win. They only won by a touchdown, so... He did what he had to do to win the game, and you got to be happy with that as a Redskins fan. What's the game plan heading into next week, and uh, how's Bryce Love's recovery going? I know the team doctors are optimistic about a return in two weeks. What do you think about that? Shout out to Nick with his very consistent weekly video question. Thank you. Bryce Love, yes, him as well as the entire stable of running backs might be making a return relatively soon. We'll see, but it's been a crazy running back situation all year for the Redskins, and it doesn't seem to be getting too much better, to be honest with you. We'll see what ends up happening with this situation. Okay, here we go into the games now. Detroit Lions, Washington Redskins, and Adrian Peterson going to start out the game with a great run here, but he's going to get hurt. 
Would not see him the rest of the game. Here's Terry McLaurin taking a little jet sweep. And he's going to take that for a first down of 11 yards. Now third and eight for Haskins. He's going to throw this thing over to Trey Quinn. Nice completion. No first down. Redskins would punt. Here's Matthew Stafford taking over with the football. And that's going to be complete for a first down. Now on first down, he will throw it again, and this one's going to be Kenny Galladay, but he's going to fumble the ball, picked up by Fabian Moreau. First down, Redskins, RPO, it's going to be thrown out to Trey Quinn, and that's going to go for a first down, 4-4 four of four so far for Haskins. Here on second and inches looking for a man, and he has got Darius Geis, who's going to get inside the 20-yard line with a first down. Third and seven now. Haskins throwing. He's got that one complete for the first down. And that's going to set up first and goal here on the RPO for Terry McLaurin, who will get into the end zone for the Redskin touchdown. And it's going to be a 7-0 lead early here at FedEx Field. Stafford taking back over with the football. He's not having a bad game at all. Here we go. He's going to hand it off to Carrion Johnson. That's going to be an easy first down and a huge pickup for Carrion. Now first and 10 for the Lions. Stafford looking. He has got a man. That's Marvin Jones Jr. And that's a first down Lions. Stafford 3-for-3 three three to start his day. Here's another throw. That's going to be complete to Big Cock Hawk for the first down. And TJ Hawkinson inside the 15. Here's a play fake on by Stafford on first and 10, and he is going down. Sean Dion Hamilton and company getting in there. Third and 12, it's Hawkinson again, and that's not going to be a first down, but the Lions will settle for three. At least put some points on the board. Here's Paul Richardson on the screenplay. Juke move, and he's gone. Not a soul can catch Paul Richardson in the open field. And look at the showboat on his way to six. That's going to be a touchdown. Redskins, they're going to count that as a rushing touchdown. It's going to be 14-3, to three, Washington. Second quarter, Stafford throwing to Hawkinson. That's going to be a first down. Hawkinson, big part of the Lion offense today. Here's Stafford under pressure. He's able to get that away to the former Redskin, Chris Thompson, who is going to get caught at the 35-yard line, but he picks up a Lions first down. Now, first and 10. Here's Stafford. He's going to throw that one deep, and it's going to be picked off. Monte Nicholson able to make a diving play on the ball, and the Redskins will take over. So, second and 12. It's Going to be Bryce Love with a beautiful run, and that's going to be a face mask at the end of the play, giving the Redskins even more yards. Here's Darius Geis on a second and three, and look at the power as he is able to pick up a first down. Third and five, Haskins looking. He's going to fire. That's Jordan Reed making sure he pulls that one down in traffic, and that's going to be a first down for the Redskins. Here at the 10-yard line, it's third and six for the Redskins. And Darius Geis, beautiful play there as he makes the catch, takes it down to the three. First and goal backed up as Darius Geis would get hit in the backfield. He would be injured on the play. Redskins down to just Perrine. So here's the rollout from Haskins. He's going to go down for the sack. Redskins will settle for three. It'll be 17-3 now. Carry on Johnson on third and ten. Comes nowhere near the marker. And that'd be it for the half. But the Lions would get it at the after the half. Here's Chris Thompson. He is stopped on a third and 17 for no gain. And that's going to go back to the Redskins here. Third and six, Washington. It's going to be complete. Near the marker, but not quite there. So the Lions get possession now, and that's going to be a completion. Kenny Galladay breaks free. He's hit by Landon Collins, and Landon Collins nursing his wrist. He would come out of the game for the time being. He would return later. Here's a third and five for the Lions. Stafford looking and nearly throws a pick. So that's going to be incomplete. Lions settle for three. It's a 17-6 game. Here is Dwayne Haskins to Trey Quinn. He would fight for the yardage needed. And now second and five for the Redskins. Long pass down the middle. Terry McLaurin open and makes the play. 
Third and 12 for the Redskins now as Haskins has time. Throws to the sideline and Terry McLaurin with another fantastic play. Second and four for the Redskins from the eight. Third quarter winding down. It's going to be Paul Richardson making the play and scoring the touchdown. And the Redskins go up by three scores or at least two scores. No, it's definitely three scores. It's 24 to 6 now. Carry on Johnson with a nice run there, but I don't know why the Lions are running the football. They really need to score quickly. As there's Marvin Jones Jr. close to the marker. It's a third and four now for the Lions. And that's going to be laid out for and caught by Marvin Jones for the first down. Third and four again on the next series of downs. And that's going to be complete over to the right side. Kenny Galladay making the play. Here's a second and inches for the Lions. And that's another throw and another completion. That one to Chris Thompson for the first down. Second and goal. They're going to hand it to Thompson. And Thompson going to dive into the end zone for the touchdown. He's happy to score again here at FedEx Field against his old team. And that's going to put the Lions within two scores. Down 11 points. But Haskins still dealing as he gets it over to Trey Quinn for the first down. Haskins playing really well today. Here's a second and six, and that's going to be Trey Quinn yet again. This time inside the 25-yard line and another Redskin first down. First and ten for Haskins. He's got that one to Terry McLaurin inside the five to the four. Redskins on the move here. Samahe Pirine, and he is going to bowl his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Redskins go back up by three scores. It's going to be 31-13. Here's the Lions with under two minutes. And Stafford sacked on a fourth and two by Montez Sweat. That ends their threat there as the Redskins now just trying to run out the clock. It's a first and 20. And Samahe Perrine is going to fumble the ball picked up by Jelani Tavai. And the Lions have life here. Third and goal for the Lions. Back of the end zone. Caught Marvin Jones Jr. Touchdown Lions. And they are going to end the ball game there as they would do nothing after that. They did not get the onside kick. It would be a 31-20 to win for the Redskins in this one. 18 of 23, 191 and two touchdowns for Dwayne Haskins. Stafford wasn't bad, but one touchdown, one pick isn't going to get it done if you're Matthew Stafford. But he was 27 of 37 for 317 yards. Paul Richardson Jr. was the leading rusher of the day with one counting rush at 71 yards and a touchdown. Perrine, 51 yards. Carryon Johnson at 36. Darius Geis had 30. Bryce Love was doing really well with only two carries for 24 yards before he was injured. And Adrian Peterson had 15 yards rushing as well. Terry McLaurin had that one sweep play for 11. TJ Hawkinson was the number one receiver in the game at 102 yards. Terry McLaurin had 72 and a touchdown. Marvin Jones had 70 and a touchdown. And the other touchdown was, of course, the tiny one. DePaul Richardson, his only catch of the game. Looking defensively, a lot of tackles on the Lions side. Cole Holcomb had seven, Josh Norman seven, Sean Dean Hamilton had seven and a half a sack. Cole Holcomb had a sack himself as well as Montez Sweat. Monte Nicholson with the sole interception of the day. And a couple forced fumbles, a recovery there obviously for Fabian Moreau. So moving into our next game against the Carolina Panthers, you see no Geis, no Bryce Love, no Adrian Peterson. So Samahe Pirine, the only running back on the roster right now. So it would have to be him and Wellman. But instead, what the Redskins are going to do is go out on the free agent market and pick up Corey Grant, running back out of Auburn. Fits the scheme. He's a scheme fit. He's a 75 overall. He can provide some thunder and lightning to Perrine. And we'll see how that works out here in this game against the Panthers as Samahe Perrine going to take the first carry of the game and pick up a first down of 11 yards. So now, second and 10 for Dwayne Haskins. He's going to get sacked in the backfield by Don Terry Poe. And now a third and 21 is brought up. That's going to be incomplete. Tipped away. Maybe could have been intercepted, 
But Cam Newton in the Panthers offense will take over on a play fake there. Going to throw this one, and it's going to be complete. Now Ian Thomas going to get be the first casualty today as he is injured there. And it's a first and ten. And Christian McCaffrey showing off the running skills as he'll pick up a first down on first down. And here are the Panthers driving. It is Cam Newton. He's going to throw this one to Greg Olson. That's going to be complete for a first down into Redskins territory to the 30-yard line, a 20-yard play. Now second and six, and that's going to be thrown to Greg Olson, and that's another big play for him as it's a 13-yarder cutting the field in half. Cole Holcomb injured on the tackle. Here is Christian McCaffrey. He's going to bowl over a defender and get into the end zone before Landon Collins can smack him. But it's a 7-0 lead for Carolina. Samahe Perrine picks up the second and four for the first down. He's got 12 runs for 51 and a touchdown last week. Let's see what he can do this week. Here's Perrine. He's got wide open running room, and he is going to get himself to the Carolina 40 with a great run. Here's Haskins on third and 10. He needs something open, and he's got a man. It's Jordan Reed down to the 26-yard line. It's Haskins' first completion of the day for 15 yards. Here's Perrine. He's got another open sea of defenders there as he gets right through them down to the five-yard line. And he's got four runs for 50-some yards. That's awesome. So that would lead to a Redskin field goal. There's a Cam Newton throw for a first down. And now a second and four. And it's easily picked up by Christian McCaffrey, who gets to the 44 of the Redskins. And the Panthers are driving again. Here's Cam Newton. He's going to go down on third and 15. Matthew Ioannidis, one of the men in there. And he will celebrate with a half a sack. So the Redskins take over after the punt. It's Samahe Pirine again. And he's got another really wide open lane to run through. He's got five runs for 78 yards. Here's Haskins. He's going to throw deep. He's got Jordan Reed. And Reed is going to blow away the defenders for the touchdown. And Washington takes a lead, 10-7. Here's Cam Newton as he moves up a couple times, and then he hits Greg Olson across the middle for the first down. Panthers in Washington territory for a third straight time. There is Christian McCaffrey. That's going to be a first down. And now a third and three for Carolina. And they're going to hand this one off to Cameron Artis Payne, who's going to get over. Oh, no, that's Holyfield. That's a Vander Holyfield son. Wow, that's even better. And then there's a completion, and that's going to be a touchdown. Carolina will score, and it's going to be a 14-10 ball game. Redskins take over with it. There's a throw to Jordan Reed. That's going to be a first down. And that's going to put the Redskins in position to maybe get into Panther territory here as on second and five, a beautiful play by Paul Richardson. He stays up. He picks up a couple extra yards. And now it is third and three. Haskins looking. He's going to find Trey Quinn. Trey Quinn is going to get to the first down marker, and it's going to be at the 25-yard line with two minutes to go in the half. Here's Haskins. He's going to go down, and that is a big sack for Carolina. Second and 18, Haskins looking. He's going to throw under pressure, and Trey Quinn makes a huge catch. Unbelievable play by him. Now a second and 10, and that's going to be Jordan Reed for the touchdown. Jordan Reed has two TDs today, and he's got the Redskins almost single-handedly up three points here, 17-14. to 14. There's a throwaway by Cam Newton to open up the second half, and the Redskins will take over. Here's Corey Grant just picked up off the crap heap, and he is going to pick up a ton of yards. He's got three runs for 31 right now. And then Perrine's going to take over, and Perrine is going to find his way inside the 15-yard line to the 11. He has 160 yards today. Let's keep in mind the Redskins' rushing record, I believe, is 221. So here we go. It is Samahe Pirine again. He's going to find an open lane for a touchdown. And the Redskins will take the 10-point lead. Here's the play fake by the Panthers. It's going to be thrown and caught by Curtis Samuel, who's going to get near midfield, about three yards shy. Cam Newton has got to pick up his game a little bit, as here he hands it off to Christian McCaffrey, who's going to pick up a bunch of yardage, get to the 33 of Washington. Now third and nine. Newton looking. He finds a man. It's going to be caught by DJ Moore, and that's going to be a first down. 
Now third and nine later on. It is Cam Newton. He's looking downfield. It's picked off by Josh Norman, who makes a huge play. And the Redskins take over, just kind of trying to run out some more clock to keep it away from Cam Newton and the Panthers. And Corey Grant doing a nice job there. Now second and four, and Perrine, beautiful pickup. He's got 185 yards. Here's Perrine. He's going to toss it. It's going to be a toss out to the left, and Perrine's going to pick up an easy 15 yards, maybe more. That's 204 on the day for him. Now it's Corey Grant. As the change of pace, that's an easy first down. Redskins are stomping all over Carolina right now in the run game. There's Corey Grant. He'll pick up the easy third and one. And now on third and goal, it's to Perrine, and he will not get there. But he has 224 yards today. That is the Redskins' single game record. Here's a throw, and that is Greg Olson. That's going to be a first down from Cam Newton. Now third and ten, that's going to be a throw over to Greg Olson again for a first down. Beautiful play, and now on a third and four for Cam Newton. A nice throw, and that's complete. That's going to be a first down at the 27-yard line. Cam Newton on second and ten is going to look for a man. He's got Christian McCaffrey. That's close to the first down, but not quite there. Third and inches with 2.08 remaining. It's thrown, and that's down to the one-yard line, DJ Moore. So now they need another big play. Third and goal. It's Greg Olson in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. And Carolina inches closer as it's only a six-point ball game. Here's Haskins looking. That's going to be a beautiful throw to Trey Quinn. However, an illegal man downfield will call that back. So Perrine going to try here on third and eight to get there. He's going to pick up the face mask, and that's going to be some extra yards. Corey Grant will not pick up the third and one. So here's Dustin Hopkins to try a field goal. It bounces off the crossbar and out. So he cannot close the deal here. As now the Panthers are going to have a chance. A touchdown will win it. Touchdown, an extra point that is. That's going to be incomplete. Cam Newton will get one more heave at it. As he drops back, heaves it up, and that is knocked away, incomplete. And the Washington Redskins have come into Carolina, and they will go home with a win. Haskins only 7 of 13 on the day. He didn't really have to do much. 143 yards. He did have two touchdowns, no interceptions, but there you go. The Redskins single game rushing record. Samahe P. Ryan, 24 carries for 246 and a touchdown. Corey Grant had 11 carries for 79. Even he outrushed Christian McCaffrey. In the receiving end, Jordan Reed was huge, 101 yards. Two of his four catches were touchdowns. Obviously, Greg Olson was a big time player for Carolina. But our tight end was just a little bit better today. Fabian Moreau picked up seven tackles. There were three sacks by Brian Burns of Carolina, two for Matthew Ioannidis. Kerrigan had one, Josh Norman with an interception, and of course a forced fumble that wasn't recovered. And as we look, Trey Quinn injured in the ball game. He was injured on that illegal man down field play. He'll be out for four weeks. Sean Dion Hamilton will be out for four weeks. And of course, the minimum is Darius Geis out for four weeks for our running back situation. So we're going to stick with Perrine and Grant for a while. They did a great job today. Let's take a look at the records around the league here a little bit past midway <laughs> through the season, but we'll take a look. Panthers are still in the lead of the NFC South, just in front of the Falcons by virtue of, I don't know what, probably division record. Eagles are one game in front of us. We are 8-4 and four now as we had a couple great episodes here to really pull away. The Cowboys are 5-7. and seven. The Giants are 4-7-1. and one. The Rams are 11-1. Seahawks 7 and 5, 49ers 6 and 6, Cardinals at 5 and 7. And if we take a peek at the NFC situation, obviously Rams would be the 1 seed, Eagles 2, Bears 3, Panthers 4, we'd be the 5 and the Packers would be the 6. So that would be a very interesting wild card matchup and what do you know, we're playing the Packers next week. Don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as subscribe if you're new, plenty more content coming your way, franchise content all day every day. You're a pretty little star